So it's me, your boy, okay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, <laughs> they never expect you to smile. You know, sometimes many of us don't know that it is God who give us give us opportunity to laugh, opportunity to smile. It is God who gives us all this privilege to enjoy His words, to enjoy His word, His greater. Because the Bible says, in the presence of God there is joy. That means in the presence of devil, everything devil have is what is sadness. <laughs> That's why sometimes you may be thinking that some people who hate you are doing well. They are not what they are not really doing well. Many of them are sick and tired. <laughs> they are truly sick. <laughs> because anytime they see you, high protection, look at that, our friend. He's doing well, he's regressing. It all ran, bro. Majority of people up there are sick and tired of watching you excelling every day. They are tired of watching you progressing 24 hours. Your life frustrates a lot of people up there, but they will never tell you what they are going through secretly because of the things that they have did behind you. It hurt them so much. It pissed a lot of people off. It pissed them off. <laughs> Many of them have been waiting to, for you to be sad the way they are sad. <laughs> they don't know that sadness have branches. We have joy. Joy have branches. Christ doesn't. Christ have never. When it is when he is on the cross, he says it is finished. That means he has concluded the mission. And they want us to be sad. How come? You are a failure. <laughs> How do you want us to feel to feel the way you feel when you know that in the presence of God there is liberty, in the presence of God there is joy, and you just want us to be sad? Impossible. So that's why many people hate you, because the expectations of the sons of God can never be what be cut short. So the expectation of God is for us to be smiling, rejoicing, celebrating, and someone up there, ugly inside and ugly outside. We still be expecting us to fail because of the fact that they are failures, because of the fact that they are not winning. They expect us to fail. How can that be? <laughs> when Christ has already made it clear that he is the Lord that doeth it, that men may fear him, what do you think that Christ has done? What do you think that God has did? That he made that statement, he, he is the Lord that doeth it, that men may fear him. That means God has given us that privilege to enjoy joy. To enjoy happiness, to enjoy his greatness, to be what to be good in all ratification. And someone up there will just be waiting for us to be what to be sad. Impossible. So that's why they wait from January to December last year. Nothing else. And they are still waiting this year, but nothing to show for. Why? Because in the presence of God, there is nothing like failure. <laughs> it shocked them, believe me. Remember blessed?